DeepSeek is a new AI chatbot that is free and open source. It doesn't have image or video generation abilities yet, but if you're like me, you use tools like ChatGPT to help you write prompts. Now, the cool thing about DeepSeek is that it uses advanced reasoning and it will actually show you what it's thinking before giving an answer, which is something I've never seen ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini do. It's kind of cool. So I wanted to bring it to life by pasting some of DeepSeek's thoughts into Pixverse, which lets me turn text into video with sound effects. And if you're not interested in that, you don't have to stick around. But basically, here's our prompt. We'll make sure that we have deep think R1 selected. And here we go. And just note, this is not your answer. You're used to seeing your answer right away. This is a transcript of its thoughts as it's trying to come up with an answer. You can kind of see the internal struggle and the second guessing, uh, the mental back and forth. It's very relatable and cool. And I know some people will be freaked out by this but I think it's cool. Okay, the user wants a surreal and morphing text to video prompt, but they don't want the usual stuff. They mentioned avoiding cliches and overdone ideas. Let me think. Typical surrealism often has melting clocks, floating islands, maybe eyeballs or something Dolly-esque. I need to steer clear of those. Wait, the user mentioned artistic, so maybe incorporating different art styles or materials. For example, a tree made of feathers that slowly turns into a flock of birds. That's morphing and surreal, but not the usual. What about a cityscape at night where the neon lights drip down the buildings like liquid paint, pooling in the streets and forming abstract patterns that then morph into schools of bioluminescent fish swimming through the air? The fish could then disperse into sparks that reignite as stars in the night sky. Maybe a person's tear falling and turning into a small animal. The tear rolls down the cheek, drops, and as it falls, it morphs into a hummingbird made of liquid glass. That's a single transformation, involving a person. Yes, that could work. I think the key is to blend unexpected elements and focus on transformation processes that aren't immediately obvious. Using materials in unconventional ways, combining organic and inorganic, or playing with scale and perception. Within the melting boundaries of mind and machine, the future is not built. It dreams itself into being.